I want to go straight to Florida, where they're watching the skies, waiting more instructions. ABC's Matt Gutman is there. Matt. Dan, we've just learned that a tropical storm watch has been issued for the Florida Keys. Isaac, at the first storm of consequence to bear down on Key West and South Florida in seven years, and it's just 48 hours away. Locals stocking up on supplies in Miami. Big retailers sold out entirely of bottled water. Others installing their hurricane shutters, tying up their boats. But we spoke to some of the 25,000 tourists here in Key West, and a lot of them say they're going to stay put. Government officials here taking it much more seriously, closing down all public schools and government buildings on Monday. Diane. All right, stocking up in Florida. Let's bring in ABC's weather editor, Sam Champion. He's in Miami right now. Sam? Good evening, Diane. And all day long, we've been watching the path, the idea of where this storm might go. And forecasters have been looking at the models, making more of an eastern turn on this storm. And that has a lot of folks watching this storm very carefully. Take a look at the line the Hurricane Center has lined out for it. And remember, it's not just the center line that you're watching. It's all that red zone. And let me first describe the strength of this storm. Fairly weak as it moves across the Keys, but then we get into this warm water of the Gulf. And we think this storm has the space and has the water temperature to get possibly to a Category 1 and even a Category 2 as it's making its drive-by by Central Florida in Tampa on its way somewhere on the Gulf Coast for its American landfall. The other thing I want you to concentrate when you're looking at this graphic is our forecast models had been trending west, looking at this maybe spreading out as far west as New Orleans, but now we're trending it much more east, and it could be even closer to that Tampa coastline than we first thought, Diane. So all eyes still focused on this storm. You know, veering one direction and then the other. But Sam, we say pretty casually here, the size of Texas. How rare is that? It's very unusual. I mean, it's a disorganized storm, and it's one of the reasons why it spread so far. But you would normally expect a hurricane to be 200, 300 miles across, and that's a big storm. This one is more than 600 miles, as you said at the top of the show. That's a monster size. It really is huge.